So someone in chat asked this question. I thought, hey, this is an important question. I know many of you are wondering the same thing, but here's what they said. Hey, I have my OSCP on this Saturday. Any last minute tips? So I wanna give those of you, you might have the OSCP coming up in a week, in two weeks, it's coming up, you feel it coming. What are my last minute tips? Well, here's a unique approach that I did, and I did pass the test on my first attempt, but that wasn't my goal. So I remember quite vividly when I was going into my first attempt at the OSCP, you need to understand the most difficult part about the OSCP is not even the technical part. Like the exam itself technically really isn't that challenging. It's a lot of enumeration and really a lot of CTF techniques. The most challenging part about the exam is the mental battle. You have 24 hours to compromise multiple, multiple machines and an active directory network and trying to get through that brain fog in that 24 hours without being overwhelmed, honestly, is way more difficult than any technical challenge you're going to encounter on the exam. So here's what I did, uh, a few things. One, schedule your exam at the start of the day. Some people schedule their exam to start at like 10 o'clock at night because y'all are crazy or something. Don't do that. You are freshest in the morning. Even for those of you who aren't morning people, I'm not a morning person. Obviously, I stream late at night, but still, my mind is freshest for an exam in the morning. So first encouragement, if you haven't scheduled the exam yet, make sure you start in the morning. Your mind is more fresh. Your mind is alert. My second piece of advice that I don't really see out there very often is when you approach the exam, don't do it with the goal of passing. Now, I know this sounds counterintuitive, but don't go into it with the goal of passing. Go into it with the goal of having fun. I kid you not, I remember posting this on LinkedIn, going up to my exam, I said, I'm taking the OSCP, my goal is not to pass the exam, my goal is to have fun and just go through the full experience. Because once again, the biggest battle is the mental battle. And if you can get over that mental hurdle, well, the technical stuff will fall into place. So as you go into your exam, figure out how you can have fun doing it. Treat it like a game, treat it like a CTF, treat it like this competition. Don't get frustrated, have fun. And you'll be really impressed when you go into the OSCP with the attitude, look, I'm gonna go into this, I don't know if I'm gonna pass, if I don't pass, that's okay. I'm not defined by an exam. I'm not defined by a score. I'm not defined by a cert. It, it, life is not that, or that part of your life is not that important. I'm not defined by that. Instead, go into it with the determination, I am going to have fun. I'm going to experience the exam because hey, even if you fail it, but you go into it with a positive attitude and you fully experience the process of actually taking the exam, you have a much better chance of just knocking it out of the park on your second or third or fourth attempt. So that would be my advice I don't see elsewhere. Going into the exam, don't focus on passing your first time, focus on having fun, focus on winning that mental game, and you might be surprised at the results when you change your focus from passing to having fun and winning that mental battle. So hey, for those of you who are studying for the exam who have it coming up, I hope you find that piece of advice helpful. And hey, let me know how it goes when you take the exam. Would love to hear from you.